Let's take a look at how tan you are. No. Oh, sorry. You're black. You're black. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he thinks he's black. <laughs> Look, all the water is gone. This was flooded the other day. It's nothing but rock now. This was just in the matter of a few days. Wow. Don't really do it. Look how steep this is. I don't, I bet animals walk through these paths right here. Here's another one. These are not the ones we typically use. Come! Let's run in the rain! This is like a rare opportunity where it's sunny, but then it's, you know, you have some cloudiness raining down. That's like the best time ever to play in the rain because it's not cold or anything. So. A snake? Yeah, there may be snakes down there in these cracks like this. Yes. So, this morning I found out that George Floyd was actually, te he tested positive for the coronavirus. And let's, this is just so bizarre to me. Um, I was thinking with all this going on, everyone was going to forget about the coronavirus because they were focused on these riots and stuff. But somehow, the two have been intertwined, you know? Like, how perfect is that? And then, I can't breathe. And coronavirus, damn it, why am I calling it that? The coronavirus makes you, you know, your lungs... <sighs> Uh, supposedly, you know, people seem to have issues with their lungs and getting oxygen and then even the ventilators aren't helping. They There's like a cellular issue with delivering the oxygen for some reason. So, the first guy, the, the first doctor that did the autopsy said there were pre-existing conditions. So, the second doctor, uh, the second guy, they hired to do the autopsy is supposedly the one who did the Epstein autopsy and I didn't verify that but again just very bizarre you know coincidences and connections and um, of course he said it was uh, asphyxia that you know Floyd died from the asphyxia from the, you know being strangled basically them sitting on his neck and his back which I would say <laughs> If, uh, you know, he has these pre-existing issues, maybe he's having issues getting, you know, oxygen into his lungs, into his body, into his cells. Maybe he's vitamin D deficient. He happened to be black. Um, so there's higher chances of that. And there's probably all sorts of other issues there. It, it makes sense that... Somebody sitting on his back for several minutes. And his neck. Yeah, yucky. Would uh, cause him, you know, that would make it a little bit harder for him to breathe. And I know people are like, oh, well, if he could scream out, he obviously could breathe, right? I just wanted to add, you know, typically that would be the case. That if you can call out, if you can scream out. Then you can also breathe, but with all of these other factors at play, it it makes sense. It makes sense that he could, you know, was struggling. He was struggling to get oxygen, not just be able to breathe, you know, take in air. So, yeah, I mean, all we can do is really speculate, though. Of course, all of these coincidences, you know, it's almost like there is a big conspiracy or whatever you want to call it but what if it's just like these people that study the gematria and the numbers and all of this what if this is just you know the universe what if this is just the system that we live in uh, 
the spiritual system around us sort of um, showing itself. What kind of footprints are those? Maybe a raccoon? Look, Mom. Wow. Somebody skid out right there. Yeah. Hmm. Look at the little paws. How cute. <laughs> They're cool. Little paws. Yeah. We should follow it and find that raccoon. It walked this way too, and it walked back the other way. I just love these rocks.